have we recorded what the brain thinks the body is doing? I think that's a fair way to put it. Have you ever watched a top tennis player serve? Serving a tennis ball is an acquired skill, which requires sequence of specific postures to be strung together in a precise manner. Their respective postural relationship are important in a given moment. Neural recordings were done with silicone probes, with each one targeting a brain region of interest. As far as behavior is concerned, we tracked the animals in 3D, with a four-piece rigid body on the animal's head and three retroreflected markers along the animal's back. We recorded from cells in the posterior parietal cortex and the frontal motor cortex because these areas play very well-established roles in coordinating the behavior of the body. We use a statistical model to investigate alternatives to what was already known about what these brain areas are doing. Those results shaped how we then visualized the experimental data which revealed a perspective far richer and more interesting, the body schema. We all have a sense of how our bodies are positioned in space. We know this concept as body schema. If I move my hand in front of my face, and then I ask you to do the same thing, even with your eyes closed, you can do it no problem. This is because your brain constantly keeps tabs on your body and how it is configured in space. We have recorded single neurons that respond to whole body postural features. By doing so, we may have found cortical representation of body schema. The strength of this representation was probably best illustrated in the population analysis. When you can reconstruct something that complicated with just 60 neurons, you know it's real. The main findings of our study are relatively surprising. Earlier literature suggested that posture and movement would both play a role. But surprisingly, uh, the more we learned, the more we found it was the posture of the animal that the cells were tuned to. On top of that, the system at large seems to be economical. The coding of the system that we found was uh, energetically economical, meaning that fewer cells were active during behaviors or postures that occurred the most often. And this makes sense if you think about it, because you don't want your brain to constantly be telling you that you're sitting in the chair if you're sitting in a chair and not doing anything. Whereas if you're playing tennis and you need to hold your hand just right to hit the ball, that requires a lot of concentration, that would require more of your brain, and we think that's what we found in our data. Knowing how the brain represents body schema could push the next generation of robots closer to human-like learning of movement and interaction. A patient who suffered a stroke in the parietal brain region has symptoms which are neither strictly sensory nor motor. To translate this back to the tennis player, a tennis player with a stroke in this region would be able to see the ball coming and swing the racket, but would have difficulty in coordinating between the two. This is exactly what one would expect if a system responsible for organizing posture was disrupted.